Hello friends, this is Happy Hot Home and it has been quite a while since I posted anything. I am so sorry for that. I've been insanely busy with our outdoor project, the pool and the pool house, and I have so much to share on that if you all are interested. So we are gonna be wrapping that up very shortly and I will share some information on that. But in the meantime, I thought I would take you down into our lower level and share our wine cellar. And I promised to do this a while ago, so I am doing it today. So this is the entrance to our wine cellar. And that's our little butler, Albert, right there, who greets us at the door. He's always there waiting, willing to lend a helping hand whenever you may need it. And these doors are really, really amazing. They are super thick. They're like old world doors. And I actually painted it a um, very deep gray, like a graphite color. And it looks really great with the walls. So let me take you in to the wine cellar. This is the entrance of the wine cellar. On the left and the right on the entrance, we built these sections out so that we could house these two beverage refrigerators. And we created two shelves on the top and two shelves on the bottom on both sides. And we got a little wine refrigerator and we keep some of our wines cold in the refrigerator. So these are really cute. These boxes up here, we got them, I think from Total Wine, you know, when they get shipments in, you can go in there and purchase them for like $5 each. You know, they just, they're cute and they're decorative. So we went in there and we got a couple, well, actually eight of them, four on each side. And so going in to the wine cellar, this is what we have. We started with a room that had four sides stone. This room is not temperature controlled. We don't need to temperature control it. It has no windows. We just keep the door closed and when you come in, it's a very cool, I don't know, 50, 60 degrees. It's very comfortable and it keeps the wine very cold. So there's no need for us to do any temperature controlling. Plus when I come in here, I don't wanna to have to wear a jacket. I just wanna be comfortable. So we didn't think it was necessary to put in any type of refrigeration. So when we started this project, as I said, it was just four stone walls. We built all of these wine shelves. And when I say we, I mean my husband. And he did an amazing, amazing job. It probably holds, I don't know, maybe 3,000 wine bottles. So what we did on this whole back wall, you can see we have the individual cupboards, little wine nooks for uh, wine bottles. We have a wine shelf. We have a shelf to hang our glasses. We have a little display shelf, and then we have display wine bottle shelves. And then we have some extra nooks down here to house some additional wine bottles. I added, over here, added some under lighting, which looks really nice. Added a picture back there have a candle and it's just like a really really charming area that we can come and hang out in or host friends to do tastings. I will put a link in the post and show you how you can order each one of these panels and build it yourself. Like I said my husband put this all together and he did it very economically. 
you can spend thousands and thousands, well, actually 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, hundred thousand dollars on like a really beautiful wine cellar. We did not do that. We put all of these together ourselves and I think it turned out great. We did want it to go all the way to the ceiling. So what we did is we added filler pieces up there on the top. This is all pine and pine is a very reasonably priced wood even today with the cost of lumber. It's still very reasonably priced. So you add some filler pieces in there and you can have it go all the way to the top of the ceiling and it just looks very finished. So that is the main wall in the back. To the left and the right, we decided not to go all the way up to the ceiling and we just did half shelves. Over here against the door, we did add additional, additional wine racks that go all the way to the bottom, that go all the way to the floor. So floor to ceiling wine racks. And over here, you know, we're just lots of, again, wine nook shelves that we just, as you can see, we just have some water in here, um, boxes, additional wine racks. We just kind of created a different compilation of different types of wine holders just to make it look aesthetically pleasing. So my husband, he really likes bourbon. So this is some of his like bourbon supply. He likes to use the room for bourbon tastings. And we have two sconces on the wall. And again, the stone, it's stone on the walls and it keeps the room very, very cool. We have a chandelier hanging in the middle of the room and on the right side, very similar, where we have two sconces and a display shelf we can use for anything. And again, more wine racks and holders for you know what, whatever we want. I am more of a champagne girl, so you will find like champagne scattered throughout the room. So I have a few just decorative accents on this side, a tray, some candles, Lazy Susan. And here in the middle, I have a table with four chairs and some bourbons for tasting. My husband really loves Angel's Envy. We visited the distillery a couple years ago and picked up a case of it, of the rye and the regular. So he likes to do tastings. And on, let me just show you back here. Back wall, this is more, we did do it all the way to the ceiling, but it's really just more for storage of cases. So, got some racks here when we um, have some catering in the basement. So, yeah, again, we did it all the way to the ceiling and then just put in some filler pieces with some crown molding to finish it off. Here on the corner, we just again have round, a half rounded shelf, kind of like a display shelf with some of my husband's bourbons. He was lucky enough to win a couple bottles of Pappy here, this is me with the Veuve Clicquot. And down here, we 
just have a few more bourbon bottles on display. I will show you in the wine refrigerator, my favorite champagne. My favorite champagne these days is the Verve Clico, but it is the Brut Rosé. I absolutely love this stuff. It is my favorite. It's a little pricey. It's a little bit more expensive than the regular uh, Verve Clico, but it's really good. So that was kind of it. I just wanted to give you a little tour because I promised this to you. Again, everything was made and put together by my husband. It was super easy to do with a nail gun. It's something you all could do in a weekend, in a spare room, in a closet. You know, just combine different types of configurations, you know, a display shelf. Um, the individual holders, you know, one of those X, the um, X containers. I don't remember all the terminology of everything, but you know, it, it was just easy to do and it's great if you have an extra room in the house, you know, that you just want to utilize. You know, it's cute. We come in here for date night and, you know, have a, have a couple drinks on the table, bring in some, you know, bring in a charcuterie board. It's really cute. We really, really do like it. So that is all I wanted to show you. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, like the video. And like I said, I have a lot of stuff coming up for the pool. I know so many people are building pools these days and I get so many questions on my blog about it. I have several blog posts about pools and I'm constantly asked things um, about the pool process. So it's quite the process and this year is more challenging than ever. So hopefully I can answer some of those questions for you. Okay, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on YouTube. I have a lot more videos coming up. Follow me on Instagram and check out my blog. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.